Hey guys, this is Mike from Mike Stickers. I'm going to show you how I do a print bleed in Corel Draw. This is for if you want basically where the cut line is to have the, you know, make sure it's the same color on both sides of the cut line so that it cuts it within the color that you want it to be. So you don't have like a white border or outline. So I'm going to show you an example here with this four inch by two inch sticker. Want it to be all black on the outside. So first I'm going to go ahead and trace the bitmap. I'm going to do a line art. And that's actually not what I wanted. It's where when you do this, it doesn't seem to want to... Okay, there you go. I clicked on specify. Now it's going to trace the whole outside of it. Okay. You don't always have to do that. It's usually when it's a black design, it seems to want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cut line that I want. So I want it to be the exact size of this, basically. So I'm going to first highlight the design or click on it. And then I'm going to have this be basically the lowest setting it can be. Um, right here, you might not see anything. I might need to bump it up a little bit. I'm going to try this, though. I'm going to see if this does anything. Hmm, it's weird. It's like it squared it off, maybe. Break contour it apart. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, it did something weird. <clears throat> okay, so we're not going to use that. We're going to try something else. We'll bump it up. to 0 0.2 the other thing I'm wondering about is it says mitered I have it on mitered corners that could be a problem let me do no it says beveled no I had it on round corners I didn't like that though okay so this design is going to give me trouble it looks like so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to undo what I already did there. So now I just have this extra one. I'm going to see if I can fill the color with a solid color. Uh, see that? It's actually a square. It's not really rounded corners. So I'm going to do it a different way. Okay. That's a problem I don't usually run into. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to dra drag a box over this one. Like this. And you see how it's squared? What you do is you go up here to where there's these zeros. If you scroll up, it changes the radius. You can zoom in here. You can keep going until it reaches the radius that you want. Okay, let's see how it looks at the bottom. All the way around, it looks good. All right, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. All right, so this one I want to be my actual cut line. So I'm gonna right click on my perf cut color. I like to make this hairline. I don't think you have to. And then with this one, it's a mirror image of this, but it's black. You want it to be black or some other solid color, not one of your cut colors. Um, and obviously this is going to be my print bleed so I want it to be black because it's going to be the same color as my design so what I'm going to do is I don't want to I could just solid fill this but that doesn't really achieve what I want I want to make the thickness of the line thicker so I'm going to go up to like 10 or 12 points it might be too much Let's do 10 points we'll go with that so you get the idea 
So what I'm going to do is if you put this over here, it's going to be on top of the design. So you want to go, you want to right click, you want to click on order. You want to go to the back of the page. So now it's behind the design. If you click on this one, hit shift and then click on the second design. You can hit C on the keyboard to center it and then hit E to equal it. And then you see now you got your little white corners there. So what you can actually do is bring it back to the top layer. That's what I would do to fix that. So I'm going to actually click on the front design, put it to the back of the page. Now it all looks good. You can combine those two designs together. I'm going to hit control all, and then I'm going to hit shift and deselect the one that I don't want to select. I'm going to right click, hit group. Now it's the way I want it to be. Now this one right here, I'm going to click on it for my cut line. I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to click on the other, on the actual design. I'm going to hit C and E to center and equal it. Then now you've got it exactly where you want it. I've got right now the cut line is highlighted. It's the one that it's selected and you can see it's four inches by two inches, which is where I want it to be. So the outside of the design is going to be a little bit bigger than the four inches, but it's okay because that's the bleed area. Um, so anyways, you're good to go now. You can go ahead and do control all to select everything, group it together so you can keep the design all together. And then you can make yourself a whole sheet of these. I like to put down my crop marks first. And actually, I'm doing this as a test sheet to just do a little test. So I'm going to make this just 10 inches. Might be a little bigger than I need, but it's all right. I'm going to actually do 90 degree change on this to turn it. <clears throat> Put it here. I'm going to do my crop marks, my registration marks, I mean. I'm going to use the four point type two. I'm going to use step and repeat, which is actually under edit. You can go down and click on it here. I have it turned on already. I want to do, I want to make a horizontal repeat. So I'm going to click on the design. I'm going to go to the horizontal settings. I actually want to zero this one out first. Horizontal settings and I'm going to go, let's say 2.4. And I'm going to click on, let me see, I probably can fit let me see, one, two, three, four, five, at least five more of them. Okay, um, I'm going to go with six. I'm going to undo that. Change this to six. Okay, I'm going to select them all. Group them together. Hit P to center it in the center of the page. Now this one's ready to send it to the cutter. You can... I obviously want to save it first, but you can click on cut plot and you can make sure that your registration or sorry, you can make sure that your cut lines are good and that it's reading everything correctly. So, so there's an overview of the design right there. Now, there you go. You see you have the blue cut lines. Obviously, you want to change this to 10 inches so it matches up to your design. I've got 18 inches by 10 inches here. So you want this to say 18 inches by 10 inches here. You want to make sure that you're only cutting the colors that you want to. Okay, I don't want to cut the black. I only want to cut the, and actually on this one, see it's reading a black line there. It's reading black line and blue, but I only have the blue one selected. And um, I have the other line paused. <clears throat> when you click on this one, you see it's condition three. The rest of the stuff doesn't matter because all these other settings are built into 
the machine. You just need to make sure it says condition three. When you click on this one, if you were to actually select it, it's going to go, it's going to have, uh, uh, I'm surprised it says condition three. Usually it'll show like condition one or something if it's a different color. But anyways, I just want to cut just the blue line. <coughs> Sorry, I need something to drink. Anyway, so this one's done and ready to cut. I'm going to go ahead and print a test set of it. So I'm going to want to save this. I need to make a new folder for it. Um, I don't even remember what I'm going to label this one. I'm going to put it under customer mockups for right now. I'll just do a new folder. I don't know where I got that name from. I think I might have actually selected on something else. I'm going to change that because I don't want it to have that name. That works. And then I want to save it as a PDF or publish a PDF so that I can send it to... Right, this is the one I want to actually print from. Okay, now I can go to VersaWorks, open it up, and then I can print this. Oops. I have it on my other screen over here. Let me grab it. There we go. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and load it up. I already have the settings preloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and rip it. I have this on standard print quality. I usually print on just the normal print quality. If the fine print that's in red down at the bottom, if it doesn't show up, then I'm, not, I'm gonna need to print in a higher quality. So I'll find that out here in just a minute. All right, so it's ripped. Now I can go ahead and print it. All right, so that's it for this video. If y'all have any questions or anything, let me know. Y'all take it easy.